Hi everybody, it's Dr. Modi Charter again, back again for another video. This one is kind of an update video. We had uh, two, uh, one, uh, two interesting things that happened, one exciting, one very sad. Uh, so first of all, we had the sibling side, the youngest nestling in Barnall, Florida, Kim number two, died and was eaten by one of its siblings. One second, I'll tell you a little bit about that. And the other little bit more exciting news is in, in uh, Barnal Kim number one in Israel, it's looking like the Barnal Pier may actually lay a uh, second clutch, which is kind of unusual for Israel and the U.S. and some other places more common. Um, so first I'll get into the sad news and I'll get into the good news. Um, so as I said this morning in the U.S., early morning, night, um, the youngest sibling number six, in Barnall, Florida, Kim number two died. Uh, and after it died, it's one of its older siblings swallowed it and ate it. We understand this is very sad. Uh, Sibless side, the eating or killing of, the, uh, of its siblings is very common in birds of prey. In Barnalls in particular, they typically do not kill each other. But what happens is, is when there's not enough resources, there's not enough food, the youngest will die. Uh, and, and by dying, what happens, they die. And then the siblings will eat them. Uh, this is very sad. It's hard for us as humans to see this, but the, uh, barn owls have evolved millions of years uh, um, to live the way they do and it's survival. So the fittest, it's a common thing. And because that one nestling died, is hopefully the other uh, remaining five siblings can live. It would have been much more complicated as the nestlings would have grown older for that smallest one, maybe to swallow those very huge uh, rats in, uh, and rabbits that they eat in that camera. So it's very sad. I understand it's difficult for people to watch. Also for us, for the barn owls, it's actually probably a little bit less sad than it is for us. This is nature. They've evolved that way. Um, so I understand it's difficult to watch these things, you know, turn the can off, put a different cam on. We totally understand. Uh, Sibocide is a very common thing in barn owls. They don't live the longest, most amount of years. Um, so the adult wants to maximize its reproductive potential and tries to raise the maximum amount of nestlings they can. Uh, but unfortunately, sometimes uh, uh, the younger ones die. This is very common. Uh, in the U.S., as I said in the past, they typically lay less uh, eggs and raise less nestlings. Where in Israel, uh, it, it's the other way around. They typically, uh, on average, lay, believe it or not, 7 point something eggs per uh, clutch. In, in, in my study site in the Hula Valley, they raise 5.3 fledglings, which is more than we're typically used to see in the cameras, but they're able to raise actually between 1 to 11 nestlings. Yes, we've had barn owls raise successfully fledged 11 fledglings. It's amazing. It happens. Uh, but it's very common for them to raise 6, 7, 8 uh, 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 fledglings in Israel. It's not an unusual thing. When there's enough food, they all survive. Uh, so typically the barn owls in Israel, their strategy is to raise the most amount of nestlings they can uh, during breeding. Whereas in the U.S. and other places, sometimes they have smaller clutches and have multiple broods. That said, sometimes in Israel, we do have pairs that raise second uh, clutches or lay second clutches. And they typically do this while the older uh, first brood is still in a nest. They don't have that much time. The pair in uh, in the U.S. Uh, came uh, Israeli, sorry, U.S. Israeli cam, uh, Barnal cam number one. They uh, 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 they've laid eggs in December, which was probably one of the earliest laying pairs we've had in Israel. They successfully fledged now three nestlings. Maybe the last one hasn't fledged yet, but but all of a sudden the male started entering the box, scra scraping around, looking like he's interested uh, to potentially breed. He was uh, approached, unfortunately, by one of the nestlings that looked like a nestling attached. The, the, the barn owl. So the nestlings, they can uh, approach your parents and aggressively beg for food. It looks like they're attacking them. They're really not attacking. They're begging for food. And this is instincts for them. When they have siblings around, they have to aggressively uh, 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 beg for food. And the first comes first serve. So even when they're not hungry, sometimes they'll do this, uh, which was the case. Um, and then uh, um, that was two nights ago. And then last night, um, the female entered in the box. Um, she started staying a lot more time in the box. The male would court her, preen her, and also bring her food. Again, the the, uh, the nestling, that last one, that smallest number three, aggressively attacked the father, even went after the mother a little bit. Uh, it looks aggressive, but it's okay. 
and uh, and and um, and and it seems that they're gonna they want to lay a second brute clutch, which is rare for Israel. It's not common. Certain years we have some, but it's not common at all. This pier looks like it to be the case. A female sleeping with the young during the day. Only time will tell, but you have to stay tuned. Uh, uh, if this will happen, there's a very high likelihood she'll lay her second clutch while the fledglings are in the box. Uh, so it may happen. So she'll sit and incubate the eggs while the fledglings are there. They'll go out. In the male, he'll be responsible for feeding the fledglings and also the mother. He has no interest to, to not feed these fledglings. They've invested so much time in these three fledglings. So he'll continue to do this. Maybe at some point later on in a month or something or even less, he may start feed them less, but initially he will feed them. So don't worry, those uh, fledglings will be taken care of and will be fed. Uh, so I hope you like this video. Lots of interesting stuff going on. As I said, some sad stuff, listen, it happens, but also some exciting stuff with hopefully with this second clutch. So please do not forget to subscribe, keep on watching, and hoot you later.